Welcome back to TGIF. Joining me is Funky Dineva and Al Reynolds. And sitting in for Gary with a T, we have Jerome Trammell. So welcome. Uh, okay, Thank you. You're welcome. Let's get back into some hot topics now. We've got an update on last week's NBA couple scandal. Montana Yo, a strange wife of basketball player Malik Beasley, says she's been kicked out of the house. This comes after Malik was spotted running around Miami with suspected love interest, Larsa Pippen. Oh, that's a nice word we're using, love interest. Beasley's, uh, Beasley's a strange wife says that her and her son were told to just leave the family house just 10 days ago. Actually, the, 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 the timer is on. I think it was about seven days ago now. And uh, she was just as confused as everyone else. How the hell are you going to cheat on someone and then kick them out of the house? What say you, Q? Larsa need her Whoop. She don't got this lady put out her damn house, okay? <laughs> Them Kardashians is witches. Whatever potion they put in their cat, they don't gave lots of pimping some, and right. that is, that is homeless, okay? <laughs> bad for the woman. And moreover, Mr. Beasley, he dead ass wrong. Let, let me tell you something. I don't mind you leaving me, okay? But put me back how you found me. Don't leave me all homeless, destitute, out in the street, out here with the COVID, in the elements, the hurricanes and stuff is coming. What am I going to do? He could have at least put this woman, if you're going to put me out and tell me to leave, have me somewhere to go, okay? The proper thing to be, say, is get out, but I got you a house over here in the Hollywood Hills. It's a small town house. And it's two cars, it's fully furnished, and it's a duffel bag full of money in the closet. That's the proper way to put a bitch out. Al? Listen. Hey, wait. You better not defend him because he's a black man with a big contract. <laughs> I know how you get down. No, no, no. I, I will say this. It, it disturbs me that he would put his child and his baby's mother out. I totally get it. His wife. If, <laughs> wife yeah, his wife. Sorry, his wife. Um, if he was a true man, he just got a $60 million contract. <laughs> Give her the house. Let her take care of your child. Uh, but my question here, something, something is just not right because how does he have the ability to put her out? Okay, I let's think, about, let's think, about, let's think, about, this, let's think about this for a second. You're married to him. If you did what you were supposed to do, you are supposed to be on that deed with him. You all, have, you all have that house. If that Negro told me to get out, I would tell him, you gonna get out before I get out. I own half of everything you got and I got the child, which means the courts are gonna support me before they support you. Cause I gotta offer that child the same quality of life that I did before this divorce, during this divorce and after this divorce. So I don't understand how she even allowed him to kick her out. It's so, crazy. Jerome, what do you think? I think? For me, I feel that, well, let's start with the fact that we are doing a lot of blaming Larsa. I'm not defending her, but in the comments and reading articles, it's really never blaming the man. Here's the thing. I feel like it was intentional. You're walking around M Miami with Larsa Pimpin, you know, Miss, you know, Kim Kardashian Jr. You wanted those images and stuff to get out. I feel like it was done in, in, intentional and I feel like she should take him for everything that he got and I feel like we will continue to be surprised when we don't realize that some black men are trash he was trash Lord lost her pimping is trash they see that in each other so there you go there you go I'm gonna tell you why I blame laws of Pippen. old lady she is like seasoned <laughs> neck bones okay it's grown it's got all kind of seasons it don't simmer that young boy ain't never had no meal like that he, oh, she, you are so he crazy put that witch she on this boy, and now he all messed up in the head and don't left his wife homeless. There is something <laughs> to be said about 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 seasons. It like is. season <laughs> like that bones. It don't simmer and sl and, and, and stewed and all that lusciousness and, and all that gold diggerness and then all that. That that lady is seasoned around the edges and on the inside. Okay, she put it on that young boy, and now he ain't thinking right. He don't even care about his child. That's how deadly that old lady is. I'm telling you, stay the hell away from them cougars. They will mess up your mind. Oh, up your mind. Well, Q, you going too far now. They'll mess it all up. He ain't going to have nothing by the time Larsa Pippen done with him. <laughs> I, and I'll say this. I'll say this. If that was a, if his wife was a black woman, 
she would have put the money up to the side and she would have had her own mansion that she moved right on out of his house and moved right into hers. She wasn't smart with, with what she was doing because now no, you're on first social of media. All, why should she move? Like, first of all, that I just don't understand. I'm confused. Why would she? Yeah, you're the wife. Like, you're the wife with a child. Well, why would you move? You have the child. Like, I just feel like, does she have a brain? Like, I, I, no, no harm. I told you her. she wasn't smart. I understand. I'm just saying, why would you do what he says? Like, the, 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 everything is on your side. Like, tell him what to do. No, you cheated. You got caught out there. It's documented that you are the one that are in the wrong in infidelity. I'm so, staying here. And in fact, how about you do this? How about you give me the house, pay for all our bills, and then give me $50,000 a month to raise your child? She needs to get smarter. Just women in general that decide to date athletes, you need to be smarter. He tries, he's trying to push, and we're about to move on, but he's trying to push the narrative that he was already in the process of, they were separated, which I'm like, I don't know about that. Okay, I let's still wouldn't move out. Me neither. Moving on, um, former Love & Hip Hop uh, Hollywood star Max Lux is refuting claims that he physically abused his girlfriend Brandy Boyd and their children. Now, viewers on Brandy's Instagram raise uh, questions that she went live and an audio clip of a violent sounding argument between the couple surfaced earlier uh, this week. A few days later, Brandy came out and admitted that Max was verbally abusive during the era altercations. And she said that she's the one that got physical. Let's take a listen and uh, to what she has to say in this post. I have no bruises, no no marks on my neck or my body. I'm okay. I do have pimples on my face, but that has nothing to do with anything. I want to say everybody has rights. It's not just for women, for men. We're all equal. Nobody needs to ever um, be physical. So it sounds as if her ass was about to get put out like Montana Yow did. <laughs> and she had to get on this thing and retract what the hell she said so she could have a place to stay. That's what it sounded like because you're the one who leaked the original audio of the altercation in the damn first place for sympathy to paint him as an abuser. Now you backpedaling and pussy popping. It sounds real homeless based to me. It sounds like a toxic situation. And I bet that he was behind her like you better say this get it right and directing her they've been in a toxic situation since we been introduced to this couple and i think that people think like oh verbal abuse is somewhere here and then physical abuse is here like no whether it's verbal or physical sexual like that's all abuse and no matter depending on what your triggers are you may have a response um she just needs to you know get away from the situation again what al was saying some women need to be smarter when you, you know you're dealing with certain kind of men uh, certain kind of boys or grown boys. Al, listen, I'm this is domestic violence, Claudia. You've been a, a person of domestic violence. This just disturbs me because you don't know if she's retracting it because she is being violated, or is she retracting it because it didn't happen. So it's almost like the wolf thing. I, it just really concerns me because there are a lot of women out here getting a, getting their butts kicked. And I just feel like this is just a, a, a false call that kind of minimizes what really goes on in domestic violence. So it kind of concerns me. Next time, sweetheart, if you are concerned, instead of going live, dial 911. But you know what? They also do make a great couple to be prime candidates for the next season of Marriage Boot Camp. So there you got it. Well, I'm going to say, as a woman that's been through this, she sounds and looks like she's being forced. It seems like a coerced uh, confession. Uh, it's given me Mike Tyson, Robin Givens, circa 1980-something, when he had his hand back here and was, you know, oh. that's what I was feeling. It felt like she was being told, because you see her face, she, right. looked at, she was like, she's like, and he's never hit me. If you read the, her face, her facial expressions, she's not giving you, I started it. So either either it's right, either Funky Donnie was right with, you know, she's fearful of being out in the streets or she's scared as hell about, you know, what, what the next ass whooping is about to be. I don't know. I, I wasn't buying it. Now, remember, if you look at the audio, listen to the audio closely while she's giving it, someone comes into the room and the baby yells, daddy. He says, daddy. So I think it's a little bit of a fear factor there. I think I'm probably investigating. Listen, we're going to take a break. but. I